Good morning. This morning we are going to read from Matthew chapter 20 verses 29 to 34. So I'm just going to dive straight in. <laughs> As Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside and when they heard that Jesus was passing by, they shouted, Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet, but they shouted all the louder, Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked them. Lord, they answered, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately they received their sight and followed him. I just want to look at the reactions that we see here um, today in this passage. And the first one is from the crowd. We see the crowd answer these two blind men, but in rebuke. Maybe they're viewing them as an interruption on their way to Jerusalem or not part of the agenda they had for Jesus. But what I find so striking is that the crowd's resistance to these blind men made them persistent. They shouted all louder. For Jesus. And in contrast to this, we have Jesus' actions. Jesus stopped. He heard their cries. He heard the cries of these two blind men. He sees them as his agenda. Jesus called to them. We never see Jesus rebuke the hurting. And Jesus, crucially, Jesus asked them, what do you want me to do for you? This is just brings up such a tension in the hearts of these two blind men. The tension with their past of the disappointments of being blind their whole lives, but with the hope of maybe God will do this for me. Maybe Jesus will heal me. The hope for that future. This hope and disappointment tension is so often in our prayers. Um, and it's so scary to bank everything on God when we're asking God for our future. And so much of it is about trusting trusting in his ability and trusting him with our deepest desires and our deepest needs. And we can do this in the light of the next reaction. Jesus had compassion on them. Jesus had compassion. This is so much more than mercy, which is what these two blind men are shouting out. Compassion is when someone steps into suffering. We see Jesus step into this suffering. And finally, Jesus touches their eyes. Jesus is so unbelievably intimate and personal. He touches those whom others pass by. And the first thing they see is that they look into the eyes of Jesus, of their healer, of their saviour. Before they could see, they had to be seen by him. This whole passage begins the triumphal entry of Jesus, the Messiah, his actions showing his compassion, which points to the passion, ultimately the cross, where God not only suffers with us, but for us. And I'm just going to pray for us now. Lord, may we just submit to your agenda. Jesus, may we come and serve as you have served. Lord, may we trust that you are compassionate, that you know and you deeply care for us, Lord, that you are intimate and personally connected with us. May we have the courage to give everything over to you, give our deepest desires, our deepest needs over to you. And Lord, when we hear you asking, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? Lord, grant us the faith to maybe answer the same. Lord, I want my sight. I want to see. I want to see you. Oh Lord, grant us the desire to see more of you in the world around us, to see more of your glory in the people we meet, in everything that we do. 
and in everything that surrounds us. Lord, may we always seek you and seek your face, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Have a blessed day.